executive producer Azariah Milan Car to Gina. Go get Test Smooth Ready Ass. We're going on early. What a week, what a week, what a week, what a week. We are the biggest in the game. The Fat Joe Show. And you don't know who I know. Cousin Miriam, you see me with the WNBA shirt? Love. And so, I'm going to be honest with y'all. We started off with Devin Haney, the champion of the world on Monday. Tuesday, we got real with Big Sean. Wednesday, Dr. Fauci. Thursday. Thursday. First interview ever since he came home, Joel Santana. And so, it's Wild Cherry Pepsi. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had someone scheduled tonight who was going to be the biggest ever. He got caught up in the movie. He might still make it, but he got caught up in a movie. It was going to be the biggest ever. But, it's okay. We're going to call it Shoot the Shit Friday. And uh, we're going to talk about a bunch of things. Uh, I don't know if you know, I'm one of the, the pioneers of collecting sneakers. And I've been real humble these days. I let everybody do what they got to do. So I have a garage. That's one thing. Yo, Mayor. My brother. So I have a garage. You know the garage, but they I, don't I know the garage very well. <laughs> I have a car. I have a three car garage that we have no cars in. It's just sneakers. Yes, sir. And it looks like a foot locker. And, and so I went in there today. Oof, <laughs> boy. Lorena came out the day, Papi, though. Because <laughs> I got a couple of boxes here yeah. that I picked in the garage today, right? Yes, sir. So I went in the garage. I wanted to sweat. You know, Miami would be 90 degrees. The garage, 100-something. And I never get to see none of the sneakers because I just don't go in there, right? And, uh, and so today I went in there. I pulled out a couple of Air Forces. <laughs> That was just in one little section. And it's like you, you know, uh, I, get, I get emotional because every time I open a box, it reminds me of when I bought that sneaker. Yeah. And uh, we give to the poor all the time, guys. Wait, 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 wait. How emotional did you get? Because you, you was killing me when I was crying when I got rid of my shoes. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 went too, you took it too far. You started crying, and I had to come cheer you up. And But mine's is worse because Miami is humid. So a bunch of my sneakers disintegrate into, like, dust. No, no. So today I had... Sneakers were 80 years biodegradable. They were seven years in your house because that Yeah, yeah, so exactly. Good. My house is, like, it's humid. So today I pulled out some brand-new Bo Jacksons. I lost the turn to mildew. Uh, some brand new Rasheed patent leathers with the man on the side. Um, these Nelly, the Nelly I, I joints. Saw, I saw the Nellies. The Nellies look like they had asbestos. No, nah, it got cancer. <laughs> nah, I, I can't take it. And, and I don't know why we collect these sneakers if when they get old, you can't wear them. I, I wore them at shows, and the minute I wear them on shows, my whole foot go through the sneaker. Yes, sir. Hit maker, what's up? You've been in Miami. You haven't hit me yet. And so, Mayor, yeah. yo, B-Dot, what's up, baby? You know, B-Dot love the sneaker culture, no, B -Dot, man. No, B-Dot's the best. B-Dot be on my lives every day. All the time. And so I got a couple of sneakers. I had a very big guest. He stuck shooting a movie. He's trying to make it, but I'm trying to kill some time till he makes it. Otherwise, it's cool. It's a great week. Champion of the world, Devin Harris, Big Sean, Dr. Fauci, uh, Joel Santana on Thursday. I mean, no. all right, yeah, so I need you to help me with some of these. So these are just, this is nothing. This is like, this is like, 
one hundredth of a section. This is this is the only place I could get to, and I started looking. But I, I pull out some Air Forces. Oh shit! First one I pick up. Man. Yellow Man. TS. Man. Air Force. He's ready. Ask him if he got him. No, no. Before, after Mayor. Ah, uh, yo, yo, Mayor. The Air Force TS. Nah, that's the. I, I found like just on that one section. Like I'm scared now because today I went in one section and I and I found all this shit right here in one. I mean one. You know how you got one little. Listen, I, listen. I was I was at your house the other day. I snuck into the garage. I, if you can't explain what it is, you can't explain it. Yeah, like, it was one everybody cubicle. Know my, everybody know my shit is crazy. My shit was crazy. You can't explain what's in that closet. I mean, in, in the, See in that the Joe Crack? Joe Crack, baby. Now, that's not even... I'm still That's not even the 20, 30 pay I got in the real room. I'm this stealing is one just of like those. the sacrificial lamb. I'm stealing one of those just for the record. Oh, you got that. Oh, you remember these, right? Oh, man. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on, bro. I just got rid of them joints. I had the whole set. That's the Brazil joints. I had the whole set. The Brazil joint, I sure I got the whole set. You got but the whole set, the whole World Cup set. You got it. Yeah, I got it. And uh, this is, everything here is throwback, guys. This ain't, this is like, huh? Yo, can you try not killing me and messing up the vibe right now? Because, you know, my wife tried to throw me out my house every chance she gets. Uh, she hates the sneakers. She want me to throw it out. You know, what do you want me to do? Man, look what I found. Fun joint right here. Oh, man, the Halloween joints. I love those. The split joints. There you go. Those is fire. The those split Halloween joints. Yes, sir. You, you got to match an outfit right now. Look at that shit. Yeah, I didn't even know. I got the <laughs> WNBA joint. And, um, yo, man, I'll tell you. Oh, let me. Sheesh. These are just vibes. These are just vibes. Man, the LeBron joints, that was the whole chamber of fear pack. Yeah, I got that whole pack. I know, I, mean, you got, this, I, know you, I know you got the whole pack. I know this, you got the the only, pack. this the only one I caught, like, in that little section. You know, your man Clark Kemp is showing off some Air Force and Fab. You know, it's funny. I hit Fab and was like, yo, you would wait till I get rid of my collection so you can start going Air Force. That. You yeah, would they wait. waited. Yeah. But, hey, I still got you, man. <laughs> yeah. I got you. Oh, look what, this is about my 10 pair of these I found. Man, Brown Pride cartoons. Brown Pride, Mr. Cartoons. Those Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I saw it today, I said, damn. Like, I got about four pair of these alone, cartoon. Yeah, they're not. And you got the blue joints with the spider web and the clown face. Yeah, I'm that. trying to tell you. Like, I, this is Christmas. Huh? 2005. Mm -hmm. The box set. Who that, Azzy working back there? No, that's Lordy. Oh, trying Lordy to figure out how she's gonna get rid of these boxes. <laughs> Lordy right Lordy. here, she's. You've never seen the incinerator, Lordy. Like trying to figure out. Tim Jones collection not bigger, guys. You you guys are playing games. Don't do that to yourself. Shout, shout, shout to my brother Jim, but stop. Shout out to Jim, but don't do that to yourself, guys. Do I'm that. showing you twenty year old pair of sneakers do that, that ain't been worn. If you want me to do this. I'll do it. <laughs> this sneaker right here West is Indy, about baby. 20 years old, and I can do this. <laughs> Meaning it's never been worn before. Don't do that. West Indy, baby. West Indy joints is fire. Trinidadian, Trinidadian. What's up? Just, huh? Just... <laughs> they don't want that. That was just fire right there. Y'all don't want that. Hey, y'all. So that's just one section. Hold up. What we got, Mom? There's still more. No, no, you're putting it in wrong. It's part of that. Yeah, you got to put it in the box. Nah, you ain't. Not. If it was the Chanel shoe, would you put it in that box right? Take care of my joint right there. Come on, man. Hold up, man. It ain't Chanel, so, you know. Remember these? Yes, sir. All-Star Weekend, 05. All-Star Weekend. If memory serves me right, that was Denver. That was Denver? 
I think it was Denver because they made the all white one with the Denver 2005, the little white Air Force to go with it, and that was the other one. I found these. Uh, I don't think I brought them here. I, I found these. Uh, the 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 Air Force, the 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 dirty Air Force. That the on the thing it goes, it says dirty Air Dirty. That's the Nelly joint, the dirty. The yeah. Nelly joint, yeah. But I, I found it today. Oh, this was another sacrificial lamb I caught. Oh man. In the yeah yeah nah. This just one second. This today scared me because if I can run through that closet and I keep catching these, these go for about how much, man? 2,500, 3,000 just because. It depends. If it's the lean back one, you're going to get five. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and what I'm saying is I, fought, I found four of them in one row today. Man. In one row. Oh, you can't wear my size. This is a simple one right here, but it's still the way. All my Phillies. Oh, of course, the Philly joints was crazy. They had the black with the gold ones too. Those is fuego right there, bro. So you crazy? I remember I had those with every Mitchell and Ness jersey on the planet going down to my knee because you know I'm only five seven. <laughs> yo, man, this the Philly Air Force One. I mean, yo, man, man. Nah. I try to tell him, man. You know, the other day. Rich the Barber was on with uh, Chris Smoke staring at my collection. <laughs> Some of it. And Chris Smokes was like, damn, Joe, I knew, but I ain't know. I'm like, you really don't know because I don't know what's in the chamber of the treasure chest. Nah, had me bugging the other day. I don't even know what's in there. Yo, the day me and you did that live when you was there, when you was down there going in, I didn't, and that's nothing yet. That You went ham that day, and that was nothing. Oh, this the dirty. Yeah. Oh my God, that shit beat up. That shit got. No, nah, that shit. Spanish? This shit that, got that a base though. That shit got manchas. <laughs> I just need to know, yo, 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 man. I just want to know who got them, though. I ain't see those in a hundred years, but I don't so have. What them. I'm saying is, <laughs> don't let them play with you like they could bust them out. You know what? When I went through, you remember. I used to talk a lot of shit when I when I was on my real collecting shit. I'd be like, whoever won it, let's go. No, no, you but, didn't talk shit, not you. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I mean, like, yo, mayor, I used to talk shit. I know, but on. today, when I went through that little section, I realized why I used to talk shit. Like, no. I really got shit. Like, no, like, bro, you got it. No, you got like, it. I mean, for no. real, though. Listen, I ain't going to champion no bullshit. And I've been fine. This is it. Kobe, baby. Kobe, baby. That royal blue reflector. I got that, the all I got the all gray reflector to that one. Jeez, I got that one too. But I'm just saying in that section, that's that Kobe. Y'all, yo, yo mayor. Nah, it's Come on, different. man. Come on. It's one section. That's different. And I'm saying like That's different right there, bro. That's 2006. That's different right oh, yeah, there. This is, we showed this one already? That's different. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. This, this, you know, this is my favorite. I found this in the section. Dang. Yes, sky blue. Oh, man. Brand new, never worn. But it's definitely, <laughs> it needs a good wash. Yeah, it needs a good wash. No, nah, never worn. That's UFO right. feed, that's that baby blue. Nah, bring that with you. No, yeah. bring that with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to operate on that one. They're going to call me Dr. Mayor. Listen to me, man. Oh. I ain't going to hold for you. This one? I ain't going to hold you. Those need a trip to the shoe surgeon. I ain't going to hold you. We're not letting that one go. All right. We're not losing that. Biggie. Boom, 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 boom. Biggie, pom 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 pom. This goes out to you, <laughs> you and you. Biggie, pom 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 pom. <laughs> nah, that was just crazy. Yo, this the Biggie small. <laughs> hey yo, yo, Biggie, <laughs> pom, 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 pom. Hey yo, this goes out to. Call my brother from Brooklyn. Let him know Joe Crack is on the live. <laughs> Yo, listen. That's what I brought out.
and another one of these. Yeah, we found another one of these too. You found a second pair? Yeah, I'm telling you, in that one section, it went crazy. I haven't been able, there's sections of my garage I haven't been able to get to. Like, cause like the garage is like storage, so it's all these rolls of sneakers, but then I can't get to it. Like today I said to myself, I was bored to death. I was on the couch. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go in the garage and I'm gonna get to something. He said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you, you definitely got to something. And what we gonna do is, eventually when we empty out this garage, mm -hmm. we gonna most likely do what Maya did. And we, we, we gonna get rid of everything. Everything. Do we're a gonna plan let, sale. We're, we're gonna let the people get to touch some history. They got we're gonna to get the, let the people touch the, the history. They got, they got some now, I history. tell the people when they that happens. History and it's going great, and now they're gonna get the joke. This is a history. collector's item. Don't try wearing this shit and run a full game of basketball because you done. Like, like mm -hmm. these shits is not for wear. Like this, the, the shit Joe Craig getting rid of is gonna be for the mantle. It's going to be for the mantle. We're going to put them up in the rafters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is for collectors eventually. Don't worry, man. We're going to put it back, man. This is for collectors eventually <laughs> who you know. What's nah. my man? What's my man we work with? We're we going we to do, we do it with two J's, Urban Necessities. Eventually. But, yo, man, that's just scary because that just, I swear to you, I'm not lying to you. That was one cubicle. Uh, bro, I know. you talking to All right, so put it to you. It's like one cubicle. <laughs> there's maybe... Twenty-four cubicles at each side of a row. So there's like twenty-four cubicles. Then you turn, there's twenty-four cubicles. You go in another lane, there's twenty-four cubicles. There's twenty-four cubicles. There's 20. That was one cubicle. Nah, it's different, bro. Listen, it's different. They don't understand. I remember I was downstairs the other day when I was there, and I was in the part of the closet that I could see before you get to the garage, right? And I was down there, and it was me and Slow, and I was down there looking. And I never had that. I did that for you because when you was doing your show, right? you say, yo, Joe, pull out a couple of sneakers, and no, I pull so, out a couple of sneakers for you, and so, that's so, why that even exists. So bust this. So I had Slow pull the calculator out, right? And I grabbed... I counted like from 12 rows down, just 12 pairs of shoes, right? But I'm talking wall burgers. I'm talking the shit that we pulled out. I'm talking, yo, the shit was like $175,000 of just one row of, of what it would go for now. Because those are still wearable. No, those up. are brand new. Those, those are in great are condition. New. Right. And I'm like, nah, this don't make no sense. And it's just like, and I already know what's in that closet. Like I said, I snuck into the garage. I almost caught a heat stroke, but I snuck into the garage. And um, the garage yeah, is hot. It's different. It's different. It's different. Now it's it's different. Like, like I said, I don't get impressed by much shit because we've been doing this shit a hundred years. I was in your, I was in there bugging. I was bugging out. Like, yo, this is crazy. You know what happened to me was the other, like for about two three days, I ain't put no sneaker behind me, and it was all in my DM. Like, yo, where's the sneaker of the day? Yo, where's it? This is that, and I said. I said, you know what, let me go get them. You know, they asked for the sneaker of the day. Let me not just give them the new heat that's coming out next month or whatever. Let me dig in the crate. And then while I started digging in the crate, I said, let me dig in the crate. Oh, and um, you saw that biggie though, right? Nah, that's crazy right there. And I know what you got. I know there's Vince Carter's down there. I know there's all kinds Super of Super Vince like Carter's. Right. Kobe. I know, I know there's four horsemen, the LeBron James, the four horsemen. I know all that shit is there, bro. I know what it is. See, I know. And the world going to get to see one day. And I'm happy that the world going to see. Because sometimes, like, everybody was mesmerized by my shit. And I'm like, yo, wait till you see what's coming next. Like, it's different. It's different. It's different. It's, it's not a game out here, man. Nah, it's real. Like, it's real. And I'm glad that everybody going to get to see it because a lot of motherfuckers ain't believe it. Well, you know, I ain't never see it myself. Like, uh, nah, for real. I just think I collect 
You let's know, not, I'm, let's let's not be humble, crack. We impress ourselves. It's okay. Yeah, no. What I'm trying <laughs> to tell you is, it's over 20 years of collecting in there. It's more than 20, bro. It's a quarter. It's more than 20. So, quarter. like, when I go in there and 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 I pull it out, I'm like, damn, I forgot I had these, yo. I forgot I had these. I forgot I had these. Uh, I'm still looking for the other uh, the other entourage is in there. You got the uh, the gold entourage is there. I saw it. It's in yeah, the but I got the other one too. I know. I got forget, the. Forget that one. You got the gold one. The turtle. You got the one. I know, but I got the other one too. So I got to find. Don't care it. about the other one. I have the other one. You got the one. I had three of the other ones. You got the one. <laughs> Damn man. You got so the I said, one. Let me. I said, let me show off some sneakers. Let me. Uh, it's Friday. You know our very special guest. We never told nobody who it is. Okay. It's in the middle of a movie. And it, it, and if they got that chance to come on, it'd be the biggest guest ever. If not, we'll call it Shoot the Shit Fridays. Brought to you by shit. Wild Cherry Pepsi. You know, this is what we do, man. We hustlers, man. It's what we do. Be good. Let me talk to the people. I guess I'm going to talk to the people. All right, my brother. Hold up, my brother. What's right. up? Did that guy, is he pulling up? Okay. Oh, we might have we might have somebody. So what we gonna do is we gonna talk our shit. And we might have guests shooting in and out. Big boys just shooting in and out, you know? A lot of real shit going on. Uh Killed me the press conference today with uh, about Breonna Taylor. Uh, just, just a horrible event. Um, the woman's in the house, whether she's sleeping or up, who cares? Never committed a crime, hardworking woman. Uh, somebody just comes in your house and kills you, and nobody gets the blame. Um, and so. It's, it's just horrific, bro. And to see her family up there in so much pain. And to see uh, Trey the Truth, uh, my son, Tamika Mallory, and Ben Crump. You know, they've really been out there for a long time in Kentucky, protesting every day, putting in that groundwork out there. I mean, you know, it feels like whenever we take some steps forward, we take a bunch of steps back. And uh, we keep getting slapped in the face. And the Kentucky uh, Attorney General, uh, wow. Yeah, it was a drug raid on her ex-boyfriend who didn't live there, and there were no drugs there, and she's not even with the guy. So, you know, people want to talk slick around there. You know, no one should die. No one should enter your house, regardless if you're white, Asian, Puerto Rican, black. No one should be able to walk in your house and shoot you for not doing no crime. I mean, this is America. So, just sad, you know? They had a warrant for who? For a person who wasn't there, guys. It's just sad. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not the grand jury. I'm not this. Unfortunately, we lost the sister who was obeying the law. And doing nothing wrong. I got my facts right. I know a woman died and didn't do no crime. I got, I got my facts right. 
So when they come knocking in your door and killing your mother and your sister, you think about that. Well, no drugs. The guy they had a warrant for what don't even live in the house. I don't know what y'all talking about. Her boyfriend was a drug dealer. I was a drug dealer. What y'all talking about? Years and years. <laughs> Bro, you can't just knock on somebody's door right now and just shoot up the place. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. So Tuesday, Monday, I got my brother Action Bronson, Bam Bam. He been losing weight, getting super cock diesel. And okay, I get it. It's an unfortunate situation. Somebody, all right, they had an arrest warrant, a no-knock arrest warrant. For who? The guy wasn't there. For drugs that weren't there. So let's make an arrest warrant for your house. See how you like it. No knock, we just blow the door wide open. So now if you have a legal gun and you have a legalized gun and somebody blows your door open and doesn't announce that they're police because they have a no knock warrant, you're going to bust your gun. Otherwise, don't get yourself a gun license. So I don't know what you people are talking about. Tuesday, I'm, I'm wondering, I've been waiting, Tuesday's gonna let me know if Joe Biden is going to win this election. So, Tuesday is the first debate. Joe Biden, Donald Trump. Now, I don't know if y'all remember four years ago, Donald Trump was manhandling these guys. Like, he's the New York foul guy. Like, he's coming in there Yo, 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 like, it all depends on how Joe Biden handles himself on Tuesday. That we'll know how this is going down. Because this country likes a strong leader. Hello, who's this? Hi, Fred Joe. If I can't see you, I can't put you on. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, she didn't want to be seen. She's scared. God bless her. So I'm just picking random people, and we're going to talk. I can't see you. Man, we got some jerk offs tonight. So, what's good, Jays? How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Where you from? Don Gunner from Allentown, PA. I got some great news for you, brother. Talk to me. I just changed the plain smell law. Superior court came back. Opinion came back today. You heard it here first in PA in Pennsylvania. <laughs> 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 you feel me? We just did that today. Uh, so. What happened was, um, long story short, state troopers, I just got back from seeing my guy, Dark Low, in Philadelphia. 
state troopers pulled me and my wife over, my, me and my wife's car over. They said they smelled marijuana. Me and my wife showed the medical marijuana card. That was supposed to stop them from searching the car from the rip. They kept searching the car. Then they found a firearm in the car. Then they tried to do all of that. So then I had to get the person the firearm was registered to on the stand. Long story short, I sat for nine months. They suppressed it, threw it out. The DA appealed it to the Superior Court. Now that is the Superior Court put their opinion back, the the uh, the plain smell law is changing. So you got it here first before it's about to be all over the fucking news. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the biggest show in the game. I got to go because my guest is here, man. But God bless you, my brother. Stay strong. No more firearms in the car. Uh -huh. One law, my brother. Oh, like, yeah, that boy, he a funny dude. But, hey, he talking that real shit. Got one of my guys on tonight on the big, big show. <clears throat> on the biggest. No, My son, the general. How you doing, beloved? Are you live on the streets right now, my son? Live on the streets from Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, man. We just finished having a march with the police. Boxed us off. You know, they chased. They had us all locked in for no reason. It was about a good couple thousand of us in the streets just protesting. And they boxed us all off. Scared women and children. Like, it's like they owe some terrorist shit out here, Joe. I know you've been out there for a long time, though, my son. Been out here for a little bit over a month now. God damn it, Kentucky. I mean, let me ask you a question. You from New York. You in Kentucky. You protesting. Like, it doesn't feel weird to you that you out there with, with Kentucky and all that? Like... I mean, you know, wherever injustice is, man, that's where we got to go, man. Until freedom, that's our organization, man. And we just, what happened to Breonna Taylor is a, tra a travesty, you know, and, and our whole team just decided that we was going to relocate. I know you, you spoke to Linda, I mean, you spoke to Tamika the other day. I got my boy Trey the Troop here with me. Yo, Trey, what's up, baby? You know, I'm always on the front line. We don't stop. <laughs> Yo, Trey, so here, we are, we are What's up, Joy? <laughs> Greg, what's up? Man, I'm hey. just checking in on y'all, man. Cause bro, they got the National Guard. They just shot at us. They, bro, it's different out here. But we ain't backing down, bro. We ain't backing down. We front line with it every time. Yo, my song, what, what's the next step in the Brianna case? Yeah. What, what, legally, what steps can we take from now, now that the uh, Attorney General uh Pretty much ain't indict no cops. Well, legally, you know, I was talking to the lawyer, Lanita Baker and, um, and Benjamin Crump, and they said basically that they can they can get a, a special um, prosecutor to overlook the case because basically what happened with Daniel Cameron is we don't believe that he even presented anything that showed that the police was criminal. You know, understanding the justice system, what happens is that the DA presents his case to the grand jury. So they only can they only can judge on based on what you show them. So we realize what Daniel Cameron is doing and what we believe is that he didn't even show, we know he didn't speak to witnesses that, that told that the police didn't knock the door in the house. We know he didn't present the grand jury with the documents that was pretty much had false information that was pretty much falsified for them to even get a no-knock warrant to go to Breonna Taylor's house. We know that they didn't speak to the family members. They didn't speak to Kenny Walker, who was her boyfriend, who actually was in the house. They didn't speak to anybody who would have been able to corroborate the story that she was pretty much murdered by the police. So we get we asking for a special prosecutor to come in and overlook the real, the real case. And we also still waiting for the federal because the feds are still investigating these officers. So they have a case, too. So there's a lot of different things that we could do right now. But, you know, we're just keeping the pressure on, man. Right now, it's a 9 o'clock curfew in which if you out past 9 o'clock, you know, they're locking everybody up. And we've been out past 9 o'clock every night, man. You know, we got to make sure they know that. We, we can't just listen to laws that don't make sense. We're grown men. And y'all locking, y'all telling us we got to go inside because y'all refuse to prosecute cops who killed the black woman. So, you know, it's a bunch of us out here. And we continue to march. We continue to be in these streets. If anybody Yo, my son, out you there, see consistency. You see consistency, even though you're in Kentucky, New York, Atlanta, wherever you at, these police are on the same shit, right? 
Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a consistent. You know, it's a. It's, I tell people all the time. It's not so much that police are bad. It's the system that that police fall under are bad. So in order for you to be a police officer, you got to do bad shit. So the the whole structure, the fact that somebody could actually condone going into a woman's house while she was asleep and tell you because they think her ex boyfriend used to be a drug dealer that it justifies them killing her. You know, this is this is the sick mentality that police. So if me and you knocked on somebody's door and we did the same thing, we've been we've been getting a hundred years in jail. You know, so they 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 created some type of thing that they're above the law. So all right, so the police are trying to box us off now. It's a bunch of them trying to box us off because it's almost nine o'clock. So what they do, what they're trying to do, is lock everybody up. So I'm running in the street. Bro. Be safe, so, man. Be safe. I'm safe. I'm safe, man. I appreciate you, Joe. Though. But listen, man. Tell everybody, man. Don't be keep saying Breonna Taylor's name. Make sure that y'all out here understand that there's people on the front lines that's still fighting. You know, and make sure that y'all keep this this fight alive, man. Every city, man. Make sure y'all in these streets. Make sure y'all demanding real justice, man. We appreciate that. All right, my brother. Be safe, my son. All right. All right, Joe. Appreciate you. I hit Stay you later, up, bro. All right. Front line shit. And so we got to support brothers and sisters like that who put themselves in the front line to demand justice. We gotta support these guys. If me and you are in our home and we're watching the playoffs or we're watching the Fat Joe show, these people in the front line, we gotta support them. And it's crazy, man. It's crazy that we can't get no justice. And so Tuesday, I'm, you know what? I just know I'm taking the day off Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm taking the day off. I'm watching this debate. Or maybe I'll come on and watch it with y'all. But Joe Biden has got to talk about this. No sugar coating, no nothing. Because Trump is acting like it ain't happening. Like they ain't marching and they ain't marching in Portland. They ain't marching in Kentucky. We ain't marching in Atlanta. They ain't marching in New York. It's a big thing going on in America. Well, I don't know what to tell you. This is the problem, and this is why the hood never really get ahead is because we always find excuses to not participate with the obvious. Register to vote. And if these guys ain't representing the people, vote them out. Well, you guys, you talking to me. I was born in Godsville, Forest Projects, Godsville. Home of the 5% is home of the... I've heard every conspiracy you ever thought of in your life. But you come on, oh, yo, what's going to make the difference? Joe is this and this and that. Yo, bro, vote. And it's crazy out here. I ain't going to lie to you. It's crazy out here. Sometimes you don't know who to believe. You want to hear a conspiracy? I'll give you a conspiracy. This is a fat joke conspiracy. Well, the Cubans, there's nothing I could do with them. I live in Miami. I'm half Cuban. They're, they're convinced that they're Republicans. They love Trump. There's nothing you can do with them. You know, all my friends that are Cuban, they voting for Trump. 
Nothing you could do with them. Nothing. So all you could do is make the Puerto Rican, the 300,000 Puerto Ricans that moved to Orlando because of the hurricane, get them to get out and vote. You ain't moving that with the Cubans, bro. Um, and so what happens is, um, so let me tell you a weird thing, right? So now, the Supreme Court judge passed away. God bless her soul. Um, when anybody dies of that level, <laughs> y'all ready for a fat joke conspiracy? When anybody dies of that level, shout out my sister Remy on the check-in, they usually do a month-long funeral. John Lewis, whoever you name, passes away. Uh, John McCain. John McCain goes, uh, Ruth uh, Ginsburg, but John McCain, go, he went on tour. Arizona, God bless him. Here, there, I'm not disrespecting nobody. What I'm saying is when somebody of that stature, who's given so much to the country, passes away, the funeral takes a month. So now the biggest argument on the news and in the media is the woman ain't even buried yet, and Trump wants to name a new person. Because November 3rd, he don't know whether he's going to win or lose. So he's trying to get his judge up in there for his people. But the woman ain't even buried yet. And he going. And so <clears throat> the conspiracy I'm saying is if the Democrats are mad that Trump is trying to put a, 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 a new judge in there, nominate a new judge in there within a month, because the election is in one month, He's trying to get that off extra, expedited. It will be the fastest judge ever nominated, right? Why are the Democrats burying Ruth so fast? If they don't want to get nominate a new judge, why are they going to take their time and do the month-long uh, funeral, which they do all the time. So now, if you think in Fat Joe conspiracy, I don't know what the hell's going on. Because if it was up to me, I would do like, a, like we did for God Bless the Dead, John McCain, John Lewis, anybody who has died of that stature. I would do a month long thing and make it like, yo, look, the woman ain't even buried yet. We can't nominate a new judge. A, a new judge. But the Democrats, I've never seen a faster funeral. And so if you study politics like me, you would be really confused right now. Because I'm hell of confused. These people are smarter than me. They say because she's Jewish, yo, bro, let me tell you something. Politics is crazy. Politics is crazy. So I don't I don't I don't know what to tell you. She's Jewish. Great. Taking the Israel and back. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you tell. 
I don't know what to tell you. I understand she's Jewish. I'm saying by time. I get it. It's too crazy out here. Listen, man. Monday, Bam Bam Action Bronson will be on the show. What they said. My energy is never dark, baby. I'm for the people. I just gave you a, a, a fat joke conspiracy that, you know, that's just fat Joe talking shit. My energy is never dark. I'm a family man. I'm for the people. I take care of the people and my whole entire family. My energy is never dark. I'm with God. And those of you who know that you with God know, I know I'm half Cuban, half Puerto Rican. I'm just telling you, the Cubans here in Miami are doing Trump parades, but I'm not surprised. They do Bush parades. They are Republican. The Cubans in Miami feel like John F. Kennedy Jr. let them down with the Bay of the Pigs. And since then, they said, we ain't never changing to Democrat. We stay in Republican. And so, and that's how they going. And they don't care. And we see, we, we, we see that same thing. It ain't just Cubans. You can see the same thing with Palestinians and, and, and in Israel. They won't budge. They won't budge. Oh, no, this is my own show. Can't nobody censor me, Emmanuel Lewis. Can't nobody shut me up. Uh-uh. It's my own show. You click off right now. It's my own show. Oh, you learned something new? Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. The Cubans felt that John F. Kennedy Jr. did not help them take over Cuba when they ran up in there. And it's called a Bay of the Pigs. Y'all can Google that. And, but one thing is that I always say, right now, I'm not the same man that I was in 1993 or 88. So your opinion should change. Your opinion could, could change. You, you, you know, who, what you thought a long time ago doesn't mean that now. So I'm just saying, when it when, when is people going to say, yo, uh, let me shift the energy. Let me see what's over there. And and that's that. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. Last, uh, last year, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I noticed. Last year, uh, Mommy, what's the name of that show that Adam Rodriguez is on? Speak up. Jane the Virgin. The Virgin. Jane the Virgin, Rosario Dawson, Adam Rodriguez, Crazy Legs, Fat Joe. When I tell you every Latino celebrity in the universe came to Calle Ocho where the Cubans are to represent some candidates down here locally, I'm talking about when you talk about Latino movement, star power, like whoever you name was there with us, it might have been 10 people there cheering for us. The Cubans and Calle Ocho, they are not fucking with Democrats, no matter what. So, you know, if you're telling me try, Joe, try, we try. Forget that Joe. Fat Joe was like a mosquito. It was so much Latino power there. Girls from Nickelodeon, the 
uh, this, that, like the biggest stars you ever seen in your life. It was like five people out there. Have we announced right in that same spot, concert music would have been 40,000 people. So, you know, I done did it all, man. I done did it all uh, at the stores up NYC's. Uh, we, got, we, we started to register to vote. We, we tell everybody, listen, if you do not register to vote, you cannot vote. So you must register to vote to be able to vote. So get online, get anywhere, do whatever, whatever you got to do to register to vote. And this here, this is just what I'm saying. Um, Not all Cubans, bro. Most Cubans. I can't say all. But most Cubans vote Republican. White, black, you know, it doesn't matter. Dark-skinned Cubans, light Cubans, it don't matter. They on it. They on it out here. It's okay. That's their preference. You know? So I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to, I thought, I thought Jim Jones was going to come on here and talk about Quarantine Studio. Jamaica in the building. Man, I ain't running for no president. I run for president. I'll be in the skin doing tense. You know how when people go for politics, they it, they dig so they can find a scandal. Me, they ain't even got the dig, bro. That shit, that 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 shit gone, bro. That, that I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Yes, sir. Shout out to the mayor who came in earlier. Shout out to my son, the general trade of truth, live from the streets. We give it to you live from the streets. Test move, where you at? Your wife always got to search for test move. And then when he don't get on, he'll be mad at me. Test move, where you at? That's move straight face. Do remember. Saludo a Medellin, Colombia, Paisa. Yeah, that is a fact. No register, no vote. And this is the big, 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 biggest show in the game. No question. The week before what I gave you, Jermaine Dupree, Wyclef Jean. I mean, yo, bro, I be bugging out myself. Shout out to J1s. I be bugging out myself when I go back into the chamber, the catalog, to see all, everybody we done had on here. It's crazy. I forgot Mark Anthony. And you remember the night my birthday keeps sweat through a concert on the big, big show? So on my birthday, we had a concert. Keith Sweat, Stephanie Mills performed, Mark Anthony. And tonight, we reported live from the Breonna Taylor uh, protest in Kentucky. My son, the general, Trade the truth. Like, this the realest shit. This ain't, I don't even know what to tell you. This the realest. Where else? Where else? It's 
It's the biggest show in the game, Ted Smooth. My song got to hang on. <laughs> nah, my song still ain't on. Oh, yeah, next week. I don't even know who's going to be on next week. Shout out to my cousin Miriam. She got me this WNBA uh, hoodie. Um, Fuego. Love the WNBA. Um, tuned in. You know how I am. New York Liberty. Gen Love 82. What's up? Stay fresh. What's up? Man, I don't I oof, I don't even want to touch that. I don't even want to touch that. That's like the third rail. You know. El show más grande de todo el show, ya tú sabes, grande, 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 grande. Yo, can we get a prime rib or something? Like a a, a prime rib with some asparagus. Hold up. Let's call up. Let's get some shit going. Ten smooth or forever hold your peace. Why, Ted Smooth? Why? Why, Ted Smooth? Why you not here? Yo, you got to explain to the people that you're joking when you're saying that, right? Because I'm no, I mean all, it. I'm Every time I call you, we always talk Friday in the daytime. <laughs> and I tell you, Ted Smooth, by 8.45, be looming around because I don't know where it's going. Right. And today, especially because our big, big, big guest fell through shooting the movie. Right. And that was going to be the big, big. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Right. And so, I don't know why I got to look for you like that. Yo, I just put 20 Ted Smoothies here. Look, I'm going to put one more. Look, look, look. Look, you see that big, see the, see the red lights? And the Ted Smooth is here? I put 20 of those right now. <laughs> Yo, Ted, let me ask you a question, Ted. What's up? Can I hear some early, early Jay-Z, some early, early Nas, Illmatic, Reasonable Doubt? You know, can I, can I get that type of vibe tonight? I mean, can we, we, could get, we could always get into that bag. Um, but I will let you know the Ted Smooth and Vado dropped a new record today called the DL, homage to Mob Style. Okay, I will let you know that. So at some point, we're gonna- I love the group record. Mob Style. Yeah, so we just did that. We Kick just, that, get shit. So we're gonna let that- Let's start it with that. Point. Let's start it with that, Ted. Okay, let's get, let's get to what we get to, right? All right, man, let's get to the vibe, Joe. Let's talk to our yeah. talk. Yeah, boy, Vado is nice. I got the fella. We, we gotta get boy, Vado is nice. Something oh, no, epic, Come on, you know? One of the nicest, nigga. Come on. Where we? Oh, no, Nas, go. To Brooklyn. Yo, you know, remember, you know your man Mayor, right? Used to own Club Esso back in the days, right? Yo, he is the witness. When this thing right here came on, look, I get the goose pimp. <laughs> hey, yo, I do this for real. <laughs> Just move now. Queens block going crazy right now. Hold on. You remember? You remember? Right, Check me right. out, y'all. Shout out to nature. Nori. About to cause mass hysteria. The Joker Show, we live. Hold on. Before a blunt, I take out my front. Then I start the front. Matter of fact, I'll be on a man. Oh, no, Joe, this is like Nas, but not really Nas, but like Nori. Yo, Nori know this. Ah! And Nori know that. Yo, Nori know that. Why? Because Nori bucked that. Confirm. Back to make you famous. Dog game signs like a sign language. Stingress. Us from the others. Kidnap your baby mothers. Bringing drama to the deep covers. Salute you. Bust you down like a Lucy. Jose party lane with a gold Uzi. Come to Italy, Africa, and Sicily. Now, hold on, Joe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got a cup of something? Champagne? You got any little drink you drink around Girl, here? You know I drink all that wild cherry Pepsi. Right, Can I get a wild cherry Pepsi, please? Yo, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, come on, man. Get the Pepsi. But you got to just just lay back a little bit and get comfortable because we're going to talk that talk. Get out. Rumor is Swiss Beast was producing this record and he put his hand on the piano and just dragged it across. And it said, this, this what Nas said. Hold on. No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me. Yo, 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 yo. You, you, you know music, right? You know what a filtered sample.